up YouTube? Uh, today I have the Fuse Sonic 10 and the Fuse Sonic 10 is a tablet that runs Android but now <laughs> you can also install something else on it and I would really like to show that to you just take a look as you can see this is the Fuse Sonic take a good look and we have a lot of reflection here, so I'm going to try to turn it a bit. Okay. Too much reflection in this little screen. And you can see my friends, Linux Mint. It's running. Version 13, as I said. Let me log in real fast. And by the way, I don't know if you guys know, but if you type here on the white uh, tab here, then you can choose what kind of desktop you would like to boot up. Eh? But this is the best running desktop for uh, and the cutest looking desktop for for this tablet. We're logging in. And this is a fully capacitive uh, tablet. Eh? Oh. I typed wrong. So, and now we're locked in. Yes, the touch screen is working <laughs> very precisely as well. It's not uh, working in some crappy ways, no. And look at that. And this tablet is kind of heavier. But look at that baby. Look at that. Can you see that? A complete desktop here. A GNOME desktop. And uh, here at the top, as you can see, I have all the menu system, etc. It's here at top. At the top, I make it, I make it glassy, the menu bar, so you don't really see it. You only see menu. So, and everything works. Eh? Wi-Fi works, cam works, everything works. This is a fantastic system. I've been playing yesterday with it, and I had to, I had to leave, and you know, it was really hard to put away the tablet because I was so surprised. To see how this thing runs and eh, people this is no joke i i don't want to show everything to you right now because it's it's a lot of uh, showing around you know the, there are lots of things here you can see the the accessories it's, it's almost the same as ubuntu it is ubuntu but they made some more menus in it and it, it looks it looks really nice it looks really outstanding this is linux mint 13 and uh, you can download download that by googling uh, 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 the the mint and the linux mint site but i will put the link into um, the description for you so you can download this and um, as you can see i i, I also uh, i also have the beautiful dock here you see that the beautiful dock and this dock is so is so so nice you can just like put the things where you want them and if you want to add something just you know slide it to there and it will be there it's, it's really really outstanding um you know just you just take your media player and you put it there and it's there you know and that's how to do it it's it's really nice and this is called um the avant window manager and you know it's i think it's it's cooler than ducky it looks uh, really outstanding and you have the 3d if you have the right drivers for the video you can set uh set up the 3d well you know this tablet i i i want to show you how it how it functions and i i want to show you how it works but i i i, sh I don't even know how i could do that because there are so many things that I have to show you, you know, um, thanks to the capacitive screen, you can now uh, work with uh, two fingers, if you have big hands just like, like me, <laughs> uh, the software manager is also there, 
you know I updated all the all the software already the firmware is updated you can see here you have the battery the Wi-Fi the Bluetooth it's all there you know it's all there it's all there and uh, we're gonna go a little, little down like this and here you can see the software um, categories uh, featured all packages internet sound and video graphics just the same as Ubuntu but then a little different these guys they give their own look and feels uh, to the mint 13 and they added more drivers eh, than Ubuntu uh, especially for this device and that's really cool because um, <clears throat> Because this device could not uh, run any other operating system than Windows 7 and now it's a perfect Linux machine and you know with Linux you can do so much more than with Windows 7 because you know the resources that this thing is using is they are you know this thing is not using anything. Um, let me try to show you. Um, let me show you system monitor here. Go to system monitor. Right click it. Yes system monitor. And here you can see uh, the system it's uh, you see two processors two processors from 1.6 gigahertz the Anthem processor the N4455 uh, 7.5 gigabyte disk space available still thank you so much uh, release uh, Maya from uh, Linux Mint as you can see here Linux Mint processors I think this thing is just using um, let me see at the resources it's not using anything eh? it's only using 179 megabyte from 991 megabyte you see that so this thing is like low on resources the CPUs are, are, are using 6% 16% you know they're not doing anything yo they're just sitting there waiting for you to tell it what to do so this is a beautiful beautiful tablet my friends beautiful beautiful outstanding outstanding uh, and you must you must put Linux Mint 13 on this thing and nothing else okay I hope I was not uh, too demanding uh, saying you must you must but really um, you don't want Windows 7 on this thing why would you I mean like only the installation would take more than 10 gigabytes, you know. Or you should put a light version, but then this won't work, that won't work. You know, what you need on the Fusionic FuPet 10 is Mint Linux. And this is the only video here on YouTube showing this worldwide. Because none of the guys with the FuPet 10 tried to see if Ubuntu or one of the other versions would work or maybe they did but they never made a video about it and I made this video this is the the the, the first one worldwide showing uh, the FuPet 10 the FuSonic FuPet 10 running perfectly perfectly all the drivers are working the touch screen is working but there is one little just one little pity the touch screen works the same as it works in Windows 7 and you're like, how you mean? Touch screen is touch screen. No, touch screen is not touch screen. You know, let's say you open your system settings, right? And you have all these icons. To go down to the bottom icon in Android, you can just like vroom, vroom, like a little wheel and it will spin and go to the bottom. Up here you will have to put your finger on the side bar and then slide like if you are using a mouse. So the touch screen is working really good, really good, but it's like a mouse style. You also see a mouse. Um, you also see a mouse following you, I think. Yes, you also see a little mouse following you. But hey, that is in this case not a problem because it works just fine. You know, it's like very precise and I didn't calibrate or do anything. This was like working out of the box. You know, when I was doing the setup, it was telling me a profile picture, you know, and the cam was on and I was seeing myself up there and I could like make a little picture, you know. So 
my friends yes you should you should put mint uh, linux 13 on your view pad 10 and maybe that ubuntu 12 or maybe ubuntu 13 will uh, also support um the how you call it the touch screen very well but i discovered something i told you about the little login in the middle you have this white login when you click that then you can choose out of several sorts of look and feels to show you if you click on the white uh tab you will see uh then you can log in as the last session that was what we just saw you can get the gnome uh, classic you can run x client script uh gnome classic with no effects gnome shell desktop that's what we're running right now um mate no 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 we're running mate we're running mate at this moment and then you have secure remote connection and ubuntu 2d desktop that wasn't working 8 ubuntu and that is the version 12 it looks as the version 12 i i i, I just leave it on mate I, i'm really happy with mate so this thing my friends you just got yourself a beautiful beautiful linux tablet one with uh, a good power management and one that will not uh, eat uh, your battery or kill your battery um, in two or three hours. Yeah, I want to say thank you for watching. This was Puck. Um, make your view Sonic the bump and install uh, Linux Mint 13 on your device.